having that, that name behind us really, really helps to encourage people and being Europe-wide Europe it really helps to, to, to increase its importance and you know, people take it really seriously. I thought it's a very good programme and very good week to do because the whole Europe is uh, participating and it's uh, I think very good thing to say to Estonian people as well that it's not only in our country but it's uh, whole Europe. To practice like talking to them, explaining how we're doing it, how the EWW are doing here in Europe, the way to, how to prevent uh, the weight and also with the schools because we are convinced that working with the children is going to bring new people to, with new uh, responsibilities in front of the environment preservation. particular action on food waste reduction, which was a theme um, for last year. Um, a lot of the focus was on cooking with leftovers or using food scraps and, and making use of others. Um, waste of itself as a, um, as a company have participated in the European Week of course and one of the initiatives coming from our end was to create like a social media campaign, a competition which then was had finals live on television to then have three finalists from the citizens. So it, so it kind of raised awareness across the country to try and, and compete on who can come up with the best recipe from leftovers. And this was quite successful. We did have quite a few turnout. Um, and then, of course, the finals was all live on TV and then people got to see the recipes live. So this was quite interesting from our end. impression was how well established it already is in the head of the actors. Like I started really late in 2014 working on it due to some administrative uh, problems and but still we reached a record in participants and actions which shows me that in Germany the week of waste reduction is, is very famous and Popular. I'm really surprised <laughs> because I thought we are just a school and uh, and we did a lot of things but it's I don't know I didn't expect to get one. <laughs> we want to continue the project yes but we I don't think we want to get uh, to the competition again because once we've won it's just it's just good. <laughs> We are just there to remind them that there are little things to do in their kitchen, little basic things. And then um, we, we show them that with those basic things, day by day, with their team, uh, they can perhaps decrease by 20% their waste. 20%? When you say that, okay, 20%, okay. But in the application we have developed, we have linked the waste with a cost. In our application, it's an average, big average, one ton of food waste corresponds to um, 2,000 euros. It's enormous. So, when a chef is not really convinced at the base, but after having measured his waste, you, will, you are able to um, um, identify, measure, and then able to, to tell him, okay, it represents 200 euros per week. In a period of crisis, they can't be sensitive to that. So at that moment, you can really see that they are really involved and interested by your uh, operation. Women quarters, it was really positive results. Uh, 28, about 28% less food waste. Uh, so it was really, uh, yes, uh, really interesting. All the event helps us. Uh, it makes us expand our knowledge. Uh, it uh, boosts our creativity and gives us ideas for further actions. We're taking it really seriously. Uh, we have uh, recycle bins in school. 
uh, actually a lot of the children made their parents to recycle, uh, made them to reduce uh, electricity, uh, usage of electricity, and we think it's really great. I've been really impressed. The standard was high and a lot of um, heated discussion the day we met in Belgium trying to choose the finalists. Um, with just the innovation of some of the ideas that came about and the actions um, and I've just been speaking with one of the schools and I just think it's fantastic that these people are doing it on a voluntary basis and um, many of them don't make the final stage so they're maybe not being recognised um, for their work but it, all the actions that were submitted all had merit to them um, and they the awareness that they raised throughout the community, through social media, um, was fantastic. Um, so it was really nice to see and I personally think, and I know it's a common thought as well, that um, a lot of small actions, when you start putting them all together, they start making a big difference. Um, and already I want to steal some of these great ideas and share them with the schools that are working on our programme. So yeah, it's fantastic. Number one, raising awareness and the idea of duplicating these fantastic ideas. Um, it, it, pr it provides a platform for these ideas to be shared with other schools and other countries and even individuals, of course, because there's the individual car category. Um, and I think it will inspire other schools in, in other parts of the world to um, drive ideas on and maybe even enter them in awards in their own country. Um, but it really provides a nice platform for sharing ideas that can be, and a big part of it is that these ideas can be replicated no matter what the differences are in the countries, so that's yeah, great. Ja, grundsätzlich ähm, war das natürlich für uns eine ganz tolle Gelegenheit nach Ungarn zu kommen, nach Budapest zu kommen. Wir waren auch ähm, also sehr ähm, stolz darauf, also mein Team und ich, dass wir überhaupt nominiert worden sind. Das war schon eine tolle Sache, hatten wir gar nicht mit gerechnet. Wir wollten uns auch erst gar nicht bewerben. Die Frau Danne hat uns so ein bisschen da so hingeführt und, ähm, und äh, hier zu sein und andere Menschen kennenzulernen, ist natürlich immer ähm, erweitert den Horizont, ist toll. Ähm Vam decidir que havíem de monitoritzar totes aquelles dietes que es deixaven de consumir. Volíem saber els motius. Vam esbrinar que hi havia quatre principals motius. Vam aconseguir reduir 300 dietes al mes. Al final de l'any hem, bueno, hem anat monitoritzant rere dia i del 2013 al 2014 vam perdir un 50% les dietes que llançàvem aproximadament una tona. Aquí tenim una representació clara de lo que és el treball en equip, no? especialment amb un objectiu concret, que és intentar sobretot optimitzar els nostres recursos i, i especialment no malbaratar aquelles coses que no són necessàries. No? És una experiència grata i que segurament s'animarà a continuar fent coses en, en aquesta mateixa línia. Diciamo che facciamo di tutto per far capire l'importanza della riduzione dei rifiuti perché è proprio quello che ci può salvare. Il nostro motto è raggiungere, come si chiamano, 4 R uguale? Allora, ehm, riciclare, ridurre, riusare e ehm, recuperare. recuperare per raggiungere i rifiuti zero.